So a lot of my work is based on um, very microscopic and macroscopic uh, ideas and kind of taking parts from there and connecting them together. So you'll see a lot of repetition of uh, forms similar to things that you find in nature. Um, so it's like an aggregation of uh, materials and forms um, and a combination of them and interacting and interplaying so together. I've been really intrigued by the work of naturalists like Ernst Tackle. And so these forms are inspired by um, his Art Forms in Nature uh, book. And so I started making a variety of sizes of these and these are actually going to be hanging um, in an installation, but I just recently started stacking them and just playing around with them. Um, so yeah. Uh, so this is a geode, and these are actually supposed to be on these mirrored bases. Um, and the mirrored sections of the base, they kind of ripple and make these reflections on the wall that are really um, organic and interesting. And then these are cast silicone pieces with cement. So again, the repetition of forms to transform the material into something other. rough woodcut paintings. Um, I used to use them as like large print blocks, but then I became really intrigued by the grain of the wood and the texture that would happen from the actual routing and then sections of it being burned out um, and that leaving these really interesting marks. So it's really um, a process of seeing how the materials interact and then uh, me bending to the materials or pushing the materials. Um, and then this is the first one that I did. So I did the routing of them and then these are the burn sections of the cuts. And then afterwards I took a matte, a black paint and painted the surface so that the lines would um, be more apparent. So it's almost um, somewhat like topographical, so if you're looking at uh, aerial views, or it can even be um, uh, like turbine movement, crawling in and out and creating those really interesting forms. Uh, so the title of this piece is Units, and they're made up of individual uh, acrylic cubes. So each one, I took a scoop of charcoal, powder charcoal, and I dropped it in and um, I wanted to capture this moment of the charcoal uh, falling into the acrylic cube and creating these unique landscapes. So each one is like a three-dimensional drawing um, and all together they form this um, kind of microscopic landscape or also maybe something like a fingerprint because each spill is each spill is different each um, charcoal powder that collapses into the acrylic cubes generates a, a different pattern so I can almost see them like individual paintings so this piece is surface and it's made on um, aluminum panels. So the alumin ha aluminum has this really smooth texture and it's a combination of ink and acrylic. And really what I'm trying to do is uh, let the ink flow and do what it naturally does. And then as it dries, then I um, add to it and then um, sort of going back and forth, reacting to um, the natural tendency of the material. And then um, these parts right here, 
I also did the same technique but on a clear mylar and I was trying to capture these beautiful shadows and color castings that happen uh, with the light passing through the material.